Hi guys, I'm Russ Still with Cole Seal. Today we've put together a quick hit and run live stream for you. The subject is sectional charts and airspace authorizations. UAV Ground School has thousands and thousands of customers and there's a good reason for that too. We've been doing online aviation training for longer than anyone else. And since we have the largest database of FAA test questions anywhere, we do get a lot of support calls from customers. Today we're gonna to cover the two questions that we get the most support tickets for. They involve airspace authorizations and refer to figure 78 in the knowledge test supplement. Let's start out with a quick review. In order to fly into part 107, you do have to have an airspace authorization to fly in class B, class C, class D, or the surface area of class E. So looking at figure 78, what do we have? Well, I don't see any solid blue lines that would indicate class B. There's no solid magenta lines that would indicate class C but we do have right here in the center between Hinton and Winnebago, the dashed blue lines that indicate class D. And let's highlight them for you. The red line that runs right through the middle is a railroad track and this leads us straight into the question. So let's take a look at that. You've been hired to shoot some footage using your unmanned aircraft while traveling on a train between Hinton and Winnebago. Your aircraft will remain below 200 feet. What type of ATC authorization is required? Is it class D, class C, or is no authorization required at all? Now this one's pretty easy. We've really already worked the problem out. We looked at the sectional chart and we've determined that there is class D in the center, but nothing else. So knowing that, class D airspace authorization is the correct answer. That's an easy one. Now the next one is almost a duplicate of this question, only the last sentence has changed. And this is the tricky one. Here it is, everything else stayed the same, but the last line changed to say which of the following is required. Which of the following? So our choices are class C, class B, or none. Well, there's no class C shown on the chart, so that can't be it. There's no class B shown on the chart, so that can't be it either. So through process of elimination, we're left with none as being the correct answer. Now this confuses people because they say, None means you don't have to have an authorization. Well, not so. The question asked which of the following is required, and of the following, none of them are required, so none becomes the correct answer. Now let me point out one other thing about this question before we take off. It refers to flying your UAS from a, a moving train, and a lot of people are thrown off by that because they remember some regulation that said something about you can't fly from a moving vehicle. Well, the regulation is there, but it does say unless you're over sparsely populated area. And if we look on the sectional chart, down here, right inside the class delta, the train tracks go through a sparsely populated area. So the train and the train track stuff is just there to throw you off. It's a distractor. Don't let that take you uh, down the wrong road when you're trying to work this question. Now, whether you're taking your initial test or you're working on your recurrent test, be aware that these questions are worded different ways You've got to take your time. Most questions are missed because people misworded them, to be honest. So take your time, read the question carefully, and get it right. Now, I hope you're having a good time. Hope you enjoyed this, this live stream. Give us some comments. Let us know what else you'd like to see us do. We'd like to cover some more of these things for us, but you have to talk to us and let us know. Okay, looks sunny outside here. I hope it is where you are. So get on out there and fly, and remember to fly safe, and show everyone that you're a Gold Seal pilot. Pass your Part 107 exam with Gold Seal. Take a free test drive today and see how easy it can be to pass your test with flying colors. Visit uavgroundschool.com.